Morena, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this extraordinary meeting for the Bay of Islands Whangarau Community Board on Thursday, the 15th of September. We have a very small agenda with two items here today, and I will open the meeting with a karakia. We ask that through the board's discussions and decisions, the representatives elected may advocate on behalf of the Bay of Islands Whangarau community with aroha, imagination, skill and wisdom to achieve a fairer and more united community that enhances the well-being of the community and solves the community's problems efficiently and effectively. Before we introduce ourselves, I would just like to call on members uh, for a moment's silence, please, um, with respect for the passing of Queen Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. We will now move on um, to with introductions. I am Belinda Ward, your Chair uh, of the Community Board, Bay of Islands Whangarau Community Board, and also Paihe Subdivision Representative. I will go around the committee to introduce themselves. Thank you. Starting with Lane, I have at the top of the screen there. Uh, my, good morning, everybody. My name is Lane Eyre. I represent the Kerry Kerry Ward um, on the uh, Bay of Islands uh, Community Board. Thank you. Dave. Uh, tēnā tātou katoa, uh, ko Dave hoko e kōpā rarawa pēr tōko ingoa. I'm Dave and I'm part of the Kiri Kiri subdivision. Morena, good morning. Manuela. Kia ora, good morning everyone. Uh, Manuela Kimuhonel representing Opua and Russell subdivision. Thank you. Councillor Smith. Madam Chair, would you like to take Frank first? Happy to take you in order. Tēnā tātou katoa, ko Rachel Smith tōku ingoa, uh, nō kiri kiri ahau. I am a Whānau District Councillor delegated to this board. And last but not least, our Deputy Chair. Good morning, I'm Frank, Frank Owen. I'm the Deputy Chair representing the Kiri Kiri Subdivision. Thank you, Frank. With that, we'll move straight into apologies from Member Bruce Mill Mills. I shall move. Do I have a seconder? Thank you, Manuela. All, are we going to vote by division here? Yes, please, Madam Chair. Because I don't have photos on. Thank you. If you could pop that up, Rhonda. I'm in support. I'm in support, Lane. Manuela, yes. Frank, yes. Kia ora, Manuwe Wells, Member Representative for the Moirua Kawakawa area and Treaty oh, Partner to Te Queenie, who has passed. So I just wanted to acknowledge that I am here and I do Apologies, Manuwe. Kia ora. Apologies, you popped off my screen at the time I was introducing. So good morning. And Hi. Dave. Hi. Thank you. And Councillor Smith will be abstaining from voting. Thank you. So that's all those in support? Against? Aye. Carried. Thank you. With no uh, deputations or public speakers this morning, we'll move straight into the first of our two items, which is a funding application uh, on page eight of your agenda. This is for a Christmas event, and it was overlooked uh, at our earlier meeting at the beginning of the month. Uh, and because of the timeline involved in actually um, organising their traffic, um, management plans for the Christmas parade, the funding um, application cannot be carried over until November, otherwise the event will be in jeopardy. So uh, I will push the recommendation that the Bay of Islands Whangarau Community Board approves a sum of $5,000 plus GST if applicable, be paid from the board's community fund account to Tipuna Aroha Putia Whakapapa cost towards 2022 Morua Christmas parade to meet the following community outcomes, communities that are healthy, safe, connected and sustainable, proud, vibrant communities. Do I have a mover? Yeah, I'll second it. Thank you, Dave. And seconder? Lane. Lane, thank you. 
Any discussion around this application? Madam Chairman, uh, it's Lane. Um, yes. I wonder if I could ask yourself or, or um, Catherine the question. I know it's for 5,000 and I have no problem with that. We used to have 2,500 for uh, an event and then two and a half, a maximum of 2,500 for road closure. Um, uh, does this indicate that communities can apply just for $5,000 and not necessarily allocate anything to road closure? Um, no. I'm happy if that's the case. I just what, want to clarify. Sorry. What we've done is I've just put the total amount of 5000 rather than breaking it down, but they are looking to use 2500 for the road closure and 2500 for the actual event. So they are still fitting into what the board has got in their strategic plan and i will say i apologize profusely to the board i had multiple emails going backwards and forwards with attachments and i'd picked up the funding report and i'd missed that there was also a funding application and that's why we're having this meeting today so please accept my profound apologies for this as well you're not it's perfect fine, you fit right in <laughs> Thank you. Thank, thanks, Catherine, for explaining that. And yes, Lane, on page 14, they've asked for 2500 for the bouncy castle. So okay. the remainder will go toward the road closure. Okay, that's fine. I, I wouldn't mind if it had changed, but I just thought I'd like to clarify. Thank you. Davis Moville, did you want to comment? No, uh, this is one of, of regular events. Well, you know, community events that we've said and committed to supporting. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to support it. Thank you. There's no further discussion around that. I'll put that to the vote. Thanks, Rhonda. I'm in support. Lane, Lane yes, I support. Manuela, yes, I support. Brian Kears. Aye, Taito Bork. Aye, from me as well. So that's carried. We'll move Madam on to Chair. our, yes. Just if I may let the board know, um, while we don't have fixed dates for meetings after the election, we have been telling people to get their applications in October so that as soon as the first full meeting happens in November, any Christmas parades, all of that sort of stuff can all be processed then. So if your communities haven't put their applications in yet, they still have that opportunity. Excellent. Thanks for explaining that, Catherine, for those of you who are listening. I have a question from Manuela and then Rachel and Manuela. Um, Catherine, can you just confirm to me that we got Russell on that list of festivity? Um, Usually the board just puts them through. Um, okay. I don't have it up on my screen at the moment, I'm afraid. So we don't have... We don't have a list of which communities I thought we were talking about that. Maybe I have to find out after. Yes, it is okay. on the list. It's on page nine, uh, Manuela. Oh. Okay, sorry. It has a, it does have a mention. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll give something them an egg on. Yeah. Kiri Kiri Kaio, Kawa Kawa, Mauray, Wa Pai here and Russell. Bobby, thank you. Rachel. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I can't remember, I think that this policy is applicable to only our board, not to all of the other boards. But my question is just around the communications. And I'm aware that in some of our communities, we've had a changing of the guards, so to speak, in terms of that community leadership, especially in the Christmas space. And it would be just, it would be great to see us taking a more proactive approach to encourage those communities somehow uh, through connections to make sure that they are applying and they know that this is available. Uh, so my question is around comms, but then the second part of that is that it might be tricky because we may be the only board that promotes this in the way that we do. Um, in my experience, yes, you are the only board that actually has this in it, in it because it's part of your strategy as well. Um, I usually do go to the people who've applied previously from the communities and just say, hey, is your application coming in? Um, and then follow up. But that's usually about as far as we go at this stage. Thank you, Catherine. And our strategic plan will be um, represented to the incoming community board and they may wish to readdress that policy, Rachel. So I guess that will be a discussion um, in the future for the new board to have. Manawai. Kia ora, just uh, following up on a mention at the last meeting around um, matariki and the consideration of um, having a set amount for matariki applications. It might be something to look at a similar $5,000 allotted to those 
applications that might come for the next year. So I'll send you some. Kia ora. Thank you. And yes, that has been noted. Okay, so no further discussion. We'll move on to item 7.1, the information report for road naming. That the Bay of Islands Whangarau Community Board, pursuant to Council's road naming and property addressing policy number 2125, name a private road, Ridge Way, that is currently addressed as 256 Mangakaratu Road, Okaiho, as per map A388-3224. Do I have a mover? Yes. Lane, thank you. Seconder? Thanks, Manawai. Uh, sorry, thanks. I took Manuela, sorry. That's okay. Now, just, just to inform you why this is on the agenda, um, it would be normally coming to our November meeting, but the report was ready and missed our last agenda. So um, due to the fact that the property owner um, is in situ at the address and doesn't have an address, this is proving to be a difficulty in relation to connectivity of services and getting on with normal life. So we have, um, I've accepted this as an agenda item for today so that uh, this can be processed and the, um, the applicant can um, get the rapid number through that they have actually applied for and been waiting upon. Uh, Rachel, just before we discuss this. Did you want to add to this? Did you know anything further about this application or is that correct? Thank you, Madam Chair. The statement that you've made is correct. I just wanted to acknowledge and thank you for being willing to take this uh, on board today because as you've mentioned, the um, on-flow impact of not having a named road when somebody is living on the property is evidently quite significant. So thank you. Okay. Manawai. Oh, kia ora. Um, I just noted on page 20 in the, we've had this discussion before about the, the grid with the state, the possible implications for Māori, and um, I thought that our staff were going to put in their hapu ha were sent an email or however, whatever the form of contact they've had, the contact they've had, they're going to put it in that box, but I'm not seeing what kind of contact they've had. So it just says hapu representatives were requested to provide their input. In what way? I just wanted to have that noted and answered if someone has that answer. I'm not sure that we have any staff on board today to answer that, but if they can get back to me by email and a, they said that would be great. I just, um, I know that we had asked for that change. Through the chair, I'll um, pass your question on and send you an email. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. Manuela. I'm just, um, to follow up with Manuai, the same thing. I, I can't see what's been done, and it would be good if you could copy me into the email, please, just so we know what has been done. If it's And if there's no reply, then there's no reply, but it needs to be shown somewhere. Thank you. Will do. Thanks, Manuela. And I think, Rhonda, if you just copy us all in, we probably all got the same query in relation to that. Right, Lainus Muba, did you have any comments to make? Right, no further discussion around that, then I'll put it to the vote. I'm in support. I'm in support. Lane. Manuela support, yes. Frank supports. I'm going to support this one. Kia ora. I'm going to be the end i'm going to abstain and i'm just going to acknowledge that we don't have all the information there i really i mean personally support it but for the sake of the principles i've stood for for the previous um three years i'd just like that noted please Thank dave you, were you dave frank were you abstaining or voting against no, i was abstaining and having it recorded that we didn't have all the information and so yeah. it's just part of the process that um, both manawai and manuela raised in terms of um, the transparency for um yeah, yeah no uh, sorry I, I, I understand yeah. that dave it's just i think you were ticked as opposing on the vote oh no way no i wasn't opposing it i was so can we can we just verify my voting on that please Oh, so your vote has been corrected. Sorry, Member Hockway. Thank you. 
and I just mentioned I would have abstained, but I think there's a postal issue. And one of the things is because of the name, <laughs> the name of the road, potentially, I think there's an issue there. So that's why I'm voting in support of it to resolve some of these issues. Otherwise, I would normally have voted in the same way as Dane. Thank you, Manawai. And that comes to the end of our agenda. So uh, there being no further business, um, I would like to thank you all for attending this brief meeting and uh, wish you all the best, those of you who are in the middle of your campaign and those of you who are stepping down, thank you for serving your communities and being so diligent. With that, I would like to offer up uh, a member to give us a closing karakia, please. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Thank you, Dave. It'll be a short one. Um, ayo kita rangi, ayo kita whenua, ayo ki nga tanga takatanga. Come in. Come in. Thank you very much. Um.